Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I apologize, Mr. Mims, for being late. I'm sorry I missed your testimony. My biggest experience in food aid happened a few years ago when a small company in Georgia by the name of Manna, and you probably are familiar with Manna, yes, sir. which produces a three and a half ounce fortified peanut butter paste in a heat seal packet in huge volume, and it's the way you can actually keep children and adults alive and avoid malnutrition for a sustained period of time. It's a, it's a great, the peanut is, I'm not selling for my state here, but I might as well, the, the peanut is a great product. <laughs> <laughs> and, it not, and it tastes good on top of everything else. But I got in the middle of trying to help them and found out that there's a lot of politics and, and brokerage going on and who, whose food gets sent overseas and where it goes and who takes it and everything else. In particular, in terms of nutrition, there was a French company that really had cornered the market in, in sustaining packets of fortified, vitamin fortified foods to get to starved areas. In this case, it was, if I'm, if I remember correctly, it was Somalia. Is there still a lot of politics, and are there still a lot of companies that try and corner the market in that, or how, how, how competitive is, from the standpoint of lowering the cost of price and maximizing the amount of food you can get overseas? Senator, thank you for that question. Uh, USAID, in particular, my office, Food for Peace, are incredibly proud of the ready-to-use therapeutic and ready-to-use supplementary food that, that you mentioned, both from MANA and two other companies here in the United States, that being Tabachnik Corporation as well as Adesia. And we see this as a huge success, that we have been able to work with these companies, with U.S. companies, to develop this incredibly crucial commodity to, that, is, that exists to save babies to save starving children. And we have utilized that effectively over the last four years and increased our, 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 um, our purchase of that product. Um, in answer to your question, are there still politics involved? Unfortunately, there are politics involved in everything, but on this particular issue, sir, um, we no longer have any restrictions on where we can program that food, and our partners have accepted the fact that regardless of the source, they can use that where needed. Um, we see that the price the, over time has become very competitive in the world market, and we look at continuing to use this product of, uh, because of the success. USAID, I know, is where you're under USAID. Does USDA also have provide food for overseas use? Yes, they do. Do you work with them, or is that a is that a separate function they carry out? We work very closely with them. Um, uh, elements of USA, USDA purchase all of our commodity. There are contractors, in a sense, they purchase that, and we work closely with the McGovern Dole food food um, program, the school feeding program, as well as the Food for Progress. Most assuredly, on on the local level, to ensure that our programs are 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 working together. So USDA determines where how those commodities are actually sourced. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Whether you use domestics, program. correct. They are the they are our contractor. In at this particular case of these specialized nutrition products, USAID Food for Peace, we purchase those directly ourselves. And where do, where do you get those? Is there any incentive to try and buy those foods in in countries that are developing nations that are beginning to a food program to help reinforce what they're trying to do? We would, we would be using our international disaster assistance funds to do that, and there are cases if, if there are companies or facilities overseas outside of Europe that are able to produce a product that meets the requirements of, let's say, the United Nations um, UNICEF or some of our partners, we would look to purchase locally those, those products as well. Um, there are at least three, I believe, um, plants in Africa that can produce a comparable product, and we have purchased those, um, our partners have purchased those using international disaster assistance funds in our uh, program. That's exactly the genesis of my question because I've traveled with Senator Coons and others to Africa quite a bit, and Africa, many of those countries are now developing agricultural, sustainable agricultural program in their mm -hmm. country. It would seem like everything we could do to reinforce that by buying their product to help use this to keep other people from going hungry would be just a two for one win for us and for USAID and for the country. I agree, sir. Thank you very much for what you do. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman. you. Thank you very much, Senator.